Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandEvar.com. Welcome to today's video. So water with baking soda. A lot of people don't know that sometimes the easiest of ingredients to find in a kitchen are, some, are maybe one of the most effective if you want to treat a certain specific cause or a certain specific condition that you are looking to treat. In this case, baking soda. Baking soda has been known for years now to be a very uh, common ingredient we can find we can find at home. Everyone, I, I guess, has some baking soda right now, but it can really change our lives with how we use it, right? This baking soda right here, where I'm going to get into this point right here, we can get a cleaner uh, a a cleaner teeth a cleaner state of our teeth with just the use of baking soda and water but many other uses also like cancer for example kidney disease uh, we have gastritis acid reflux and many others that I'm going to get to in this video so don't forget to give this video a like button don't forget to share don't forget to uh, leave your comment down below if you have a question I'll answer it and I'll be happy to answer your questions live right here if you're looking at this video if you're watching this video later on maybe a year from now, well, leave your comment and I will answer it. Don't worry about that. I can do that and I read every single comment I receive. So first of all, what is baking soda? Well, baking soda is the, the opposite of what, of what, let's say, uh, hydrochloric acid is, what we have in our stomach to digest our food, right? Baking soda is a basic substance and there are acid sub substances. If we put those two together, we will cancel them we will form water and a salt. That's the chemistry. We have baking soda and acids, right? And there sometimes we can find some of the health benefits. Just because baking soda is a very basic uh, basic substance, it can, it can have many changes and many effects in our bodies. Our cells, for example, function at a very specific pH, okay? Very specific pH. If we change the pH of these cells, some of them w might be able to survive and some others might have to just die off because they, they can't function and the proteins can't, uh, they, they, their proteins can't function properly if they have their, their pH, their environment changed. And that's why sometimes we hear that baking soda can be a very, uh, very important substance used against cancer. There's a lot of studies going on. There are a lot of studies going on about baking soda and how it can be used to combat cancer. And it's been said once and twice and three times and many, many, many times that how an alkaline diet, meaning something like baking soda, which is alkaline, an alkaline diet can help reverse, can help kill, can help your body combat something like this terrible disease. And it's been looked at very, very many, many times, right? But what is the reality of baking soda? There's something that many, most people don't know, and it's the fact that when you take baking soda orally, it has to go to, to, through many processes in order to end up in your bloodstream. And by the time it ends up in your bloodstream, it might not even be that effective because it, first of all, got canceled by acids in your stomach. Second of all, went through digestion, it went through absorption. Your body has to it has to create an equilibrium in order to absorb it. And by the time it gets to your blood, it might not even have that effect, right? So there, there comes a question. Does baking soda function as a magic bullet for patients with cancer? In a mini review, okay? Very interesting study. Doesn't really have a conclusion. <clears throat> but there's something I've been saying for years now. Let me read this first and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm, what, I, what I mean. In this study, we summarize the findings of studies administering baking soda alone or in combination with other anti-cancer therapies and cancer, as cancer treatments and discuss the methods of safe and effective use of baking soda in the clinic. Okay, great. If you take it orally, might not be as effective. But if you deliver baking soda and water within a tumor that has cells that are growing, you're going to kill off every single cell because you're changing the environment that they have inside. And that's why German clinics and other clinics around the world that do ent integrative uh, medicine go ahead and inject and find, find a way to put that baking soda within the tumor and kill everything that it comes that is inside. Why? Because you're changing the entire pH. Now, my question is, why are we not using baking soda if it's like a dollar? 
and were using these incredibly, terribly damaging medications like chemotherapy, they were putting into veins of people, or we can use chemotherapy if you want, we can use chemotherapy, but use it directly into a tumor, right? And just kill it off. You can use baking soda and kill it off. That's my big question. Like, why, why are we still doing it, right? Okay, well, there are studies to prove everything that some people use and other people use. Well, there are many things that we can do with baking soda. So that's the first benefit, baking soda. Can it really help? Yes and no, right? Depends on the cancer, depends if it's a tumor, depends if you're, put, if you're putting into a vein, depends if you're taking it orally. There are many ways to take baking soda. Number two, acute acidemia. What is acute acidemia? Well, acute acidemia is where you have a metabolic condition and your kidneys are not able to excrete some of that acid and just keeping that acid inside on your body is, is starting to cause a metabolic, a severe mass metabolic acidemia. What do you use in a UT in, in, in a UC care? You use baking soda. That's what we use. And every doctor knows that baking soda does have a obviously good effect in balancing pH of an acidosis, right? It can help with many aspects. That's the second one. Third, what else can we use baking soda for? right? So the use of baking soda can treat uh, metabolic acidosis is intuitive, yet data suggests that not all patients benefit from this therapy. That's true. It is true, right? And, 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 and we can use it in many ways. And that's why I, why I said at the beginning, there are many ways to use it. We just need to know how to use it if you want, if we want a good effect. Number three, something you can use baking soda for. Oh, guess what? You can use it to help you reduce GI symptoms, okay? If you have an acid in your stomach, you have, you're going through acid reflux, you need something to calm you down. Take some baking soda, some baking soda, do not abuse it. Some baking soda with water. That's all you're gonna need because you're gonna cancel out the acid you have in your stomach and you're gonna see a relief. Obviously, you're just canceling out. You're forming water and salt when you're mixing acid with baking soda. Canceling it out, that's it no more pain because of the acid. That is not the solution, by the way, but it helps out immediately. That's not the solution to your acid or your acid reflux. It might be a nervous problem you have. It might be anxiety. It might be something you're eating. It might be your diet. It might be many things. If you need something natural that can help you really get over that problem that you might be facing, look for GI balance, the enzymes probillion, the enzymes over here, ProBillion and Colup Gone from Fineland at FinelandVitamins.com. If you want something that might help your ulcers and your body, your body uh, heal those ulcers, well, look for Ulcer Aid from Fineland at FinelandVitamins.com. Like the, let me see this question real quick. Let me answer something because I'm, I'm talking too much, right? <clears throat> okay, Jane is asking, is it safe to consume every day? No, it's not. Not at all. It's not safe. Why? Because every time you consume it, your body is having to produce more acid to balance out the acid you uh, you put out, right? Your body ha has to have a good equilibrium in your stomach, in your blood, everywhere. And if you're constantly using it, then you're basically just rebooting the production of acid every time you're taking it in your stomach. And it might even get worse over time because you're using it so long that you're not solving the problem, which your problem might be gastritis because of the food you're eating. It might be because, I don't know, so many things you might be doing, right? Number three, number four, number five. <clears throat> Baking soda can help you also with the cleansing of your mouth. It might even be a mouthwash. And it really is used not only for mouthwashes against improving the quality of life of cancer patients, but also improving the cleanliness of your of your teeth, your mouth, your uh, your entire throat, maybe if you have even a sore throat, if you do mouthwashes, you're gonna see an improvement. Why? Because baking soda, again, is a very basic ingredient that is gonna cancel out the environment of where these bacteria are living, right? And they might even help you cure that way. Like the video, let me see this question real quick and we'll keep on going. If you need something nat natural for your defenses, for your immune function, to help improve that immune uh, function overall, look for I'm Defense from Finland or Yalu Squad if you want something for your skin as hyaluronic acid on your skin. Peter is asking, is it true that it can increase blood pressure? Yes, it is true, right? <clears throat> what is the chemical composition of bicarbonate? Bicarbonate. It has sodium, 
okay? It has a molecule, molecule of sodium. And obviously, if you're consuming sodium, you're consuming a salt. That consumption of salt might increase your blood pressure. We, we all know now, now as doctors that if you give a patient salt, you're increasing his blood pressure because you're increasing sodium consumption. Like the video, don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share with someone that might be needing this information. There, there is more to talk about, but I can't stay. I really have to go. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. If you have any questions, leave your comment, and I'll be happy to assist you later today. I'll see you tomorrow, and God bless you all. Take care, you guys.